Hi everybody, this is the Baseball Head, the amazing, spectacular, terrific, the great one, the people's champion, your host, the Hunter. Welcome back to the Baseball Head. I hope you like this video. I hope you, of course, subscribe. So, you know, we're having an interesting offseason. It's kind of been slow to develop. It shouldn't be as slow as last year. Uh, I expect a lot of big trades. I expect the big signs to come. Uh, not next week, probably. Probably after the Thanksgiving, we'll start to see business pick up. And obviously, that the winter meeting's coming up. I expect Juan Soto to sign uh, fairly quickly, probably during the winter meeting. So I will try to cover that as much as I can. I will mention I do have a job, believe it or not. Most of these YouTubers seem they don't have jobs. They just do this nonsense on YouTube. But your host is very busy trying to get as much information out to you as possible. But there was a weird story, and you get these weird stories from players, former players that want to play again. And this came across uh, the last few days. This is the Mets' former great player. You know, and I call him great because he played great for the Mets uh, for two years or a year and a half. And if it wasn't going to miss when he got into the World Series, that's Ioannis Cespedes. You talk about a name from the past. You talk about a guy from the, the Phantom Zone coming back. Well, he wants to make a comeback himself which is kind of absurd because he's going to be 40 years old next year. Um, I don't know how much he has left. He kind of sort of was kind of, you know, fizzling out the last few years before he retired, before he stopped playing. But you have a sort of an outrageous thing. He wants to come back with the Mets. Does he realize the Mets have, won, the Mets have new ownership, new front office? Let me read from SI.com. Ex-Mets controversial star, hoping for MLB comeback, and reunion with New York. Former All-Star outfielder Yohan Cespedes is not only eyeing an MLB comeback, but a reunion in New York Mets. And the last we see of, of Yohannes was during the uh, NLCS, I believe. Wasn't the NLCS or was it during the uh, series against the Phillies? He was, he was catching a ball from Matt Harvey uh, during the first pitch. So I don't know if he, he got the, sort of the bug but this is a very weird story. But anyway, despite last appearing in a major league game in 2020, this former New York Mets slugger wants a reunion with his old club. Alfred Leon Assessments, whose tenure in New York ended on a sour note, made it clear when he appeared on the New York Mets news Instagram live stream on Wednesday that he wants to make a comeback in MLB it would be as a Met. Really? Really? Interesting. Isn't that interesting? Quote, I'm ready to play, but just for the Mets, Cespedes is now 39 years old, wrote in a comment. Mets acquired the, the outfield of the trade deadline in 2015, played a major factor during New York's World Series run. I and mean, if you remember, in 57 regular season games for the Mets in 2015, he hit 287, 337 uh, on base, 604 slugging massage, 17 home runs and 44 RBIs but struggled offensively in the playoffs. He struggled terribly against the Royals. If, if I was thinking about this before I started doing this video. If the Mets had four players play well in that series like they did all season long, Mets would have won a World Series. And he was one of them. The other was Daniel Murphy, who didn't show up um, during that series and made errors and just looked terrible. Um, obviously, Jerry's familiar had a terrible series. He blew three games, which he had not done all year in a short period of time. And obviously, the other player was Jacob DeGrom, pitched terribly in Game 2 against the Royals in Kansas City. If they'd gotten one of them to play well, they might have gotten the, the series to, uh, back to Kansas City. But who knows? Never know. Despite hitting two home runs in the NLDS against the Dodgers, he badges 222 in 14 games in the playoffs as New, York, as New York ultimately lost in five games to the Royals. And the Royals says the Mets could have won in the series of five games. They should have won game one. I don't want to complain about the past, but Mets brought back Cespedes for the 2016 season, signing him to a three-year, $75 million deal of an opt-out after the first year. Following the 2016 campaign, he did just that, which led to New York giving the power hitter a four-year, $110 million deal for the 2017 season. He had a very good year in 2016. He had an injury. Injuries including a broken ankle. He suffered while on the, his ranch before the 2019 season. Limited Cespedes playing time as he appeared in just 316 games. 
over the next five seasons. The biggest injury he had was in 2017, which happened the same week uh, that Noah Syndergaard got hurt. And that destroyed the Mets season that year. Destroyed it. Where they were so bad. You know, he, he was such a great player. His tenure in New York ended abruptly as during the COVID-19 shortened campaign when the Mets were in the middle of a series against the Atlanta Braves. Cespedes did not show up to the ballpark and it was later revealed that he was opting out for the rest of the season. That's a lot of fear-mongering. We're hopeful we'll get that all, all that COVID nonsense will get straightened out and a lot, there's going to be a lot of bad people getting in a lot of trouble. Despite Cespedes' tenure with the Mets not ending on a positive note, he made it clear that he wants to return to the major leagues and once again play in Queens. His revelation of desire also comes after Cespedes caught the first pitch at City Field from another controversial Mets star from that era, Matt Harvey, prior to Game 5 of the NLCS. Thank you, uh, SI. Uh, this, this, uh, this past October, now, of course, Matt Harvey, he had a good World Series. And it's not his fault the Mets lost Game 5. He pitched great. He pitched great in Game 5. Um... Uh, now, Cespedes is going to be 40 years old next year, in 2025. Uh, like he, he looked like he was fizzling out the last few years. Um, I don't know what kind of player... He didn't look great physically when, we, when I saw him back in, in, in October. He looked a little, a little pudgy. You know, he did not look like he'd been playing baseball. Uh, and he is sort of a different kind of guy off the field with the horses and the and the... And the and the was the pig gore or whatever how happened on that that ranch it is, but he's a different kind of guy, and I don't think the Mets would want to do this. But you know, let me know in this con in the comments section. is a very odd story. He was this is a very odd guy, but a great Met. Wouldn't have gotten the arrow if it wasn't for him. But uh, and a very exciting player, great defensive outfielder, great arm, one of the best arms I've ever seen for an outfielder with the Mets. Probably the best outfield arm I've ever seen with the Mets. Quite frankly, uh, could throw anybody out at any point in the in the outfield anywhere. Well, anyway, again, thank you. I would mention I had a super thanks on a previous video. Let me find him. I don't want to forget because I like to acknowledge people that send me super thanks. And let me find him. His name is Ed. Ed Ferdick. Thank you. I appreciate the the super thanks. It's a great way to support the channel. I do acknowledge everybody that does it. You'll see it in the community post. You'll see it on this video. And of course, I can't thank Ed more. And anybody that sends me a super thanks, it's a great way to, to uh, donate for me in terms of helping me out with paint here at the house. And and of course, uh, it's, it helps me with nails, brushes, all that stuff. Uh, slowly but surely, this place is really starting to look really nice. And it's all because of you. All because everybody's been watching this channel for all these years. I've been able to buy this beautiful home. And I want to thank you all for coming by and thank you for the help just watching and sending me the super chats and the super thanks and the memberships and every little bit helps. So thank you for watching. Have a good day. And I'll see you later.